Number one wants us to match the um, numbers here with the equation that they satisfy. So these are going to be the exponents for these base 10 exponential equations. So on the previous page in your workbook, you have this logarithmic table. And we know that the log helps us figure out the exponent that would go with 10 to give us this value. So we're going to be looking for these output values in our x column to match for the exponent. So now for part a, we know 10 to the first equals 10. So we know that number 3 matches with a. But 10 to what power gives us 20? So we'll look in this column to find 20. And 20 will be 10 to the 1.301 power. So that's number 5. For this one, we'll look to 2,000. So 2,000 is 10 to this power, 3.301. So that's number six. Find 900. So 900 is 10 to the 2.9542. So that's number four. And then here, 10 to what power gives us four? And that's 0 0.602. So that's number one. Number two, here's a logarithmic expression. How do we say this expression in words? So we read this as log base 10 of 100. And what it means is what power of 10 gives us 100? Um, or 10 to what power? meaning exponent, gives us 100. And so it's 10 to the second power would be the answer to this expression. Number three, the base 10 log table shows that the value of log base 10 of 50 is 1.69. This doesn't round it as much, but 1.69897. Explain why it makes sense that this number is between 1 and 2. Well, log base 10 of 50 is solving the exponential equation 10 to the x equals 50. It's looking for this power. So 10 to what power would give us 50? And we know that 10 to the first equals 10 and 10 to the second equals 100. So 10 to the x equaling 50 would be between these two. So the exponent is going to be between 0, or sorry, between 1 and 2. Number four, here's a table of some logarithm values. What is the approximate value of 10, log base 10 of 400? So we go find 400 and have it evaluate it for us, and it is 2.6021. What is the value of log base 10 of 1,000? So if we go down here, we see that log base 10 of 1,000 is 3, which makes sense since the logarithm is telling us what power of 10 would give us 1,000, and we know 10 to the third equals 1,000. Number five, what is the log base 10 of 1 billion? So we see that we have nine zeros here. So we know that this is 10 to the ninth power. So then the log base 10 of that would be nine since the log base 10 is giving us the exponent back that would give us this number. Number six, a bank account balance in dollars is modeled by this equation where T is measured in years. About how many years will it take for the account balance to double? So we want to know how many years it'll take for 1.8 to the T to be approximately 2. So we don't have a log table for this. We've only done it for base 10. So for this one, I'm just going to guess and check until I get close to 2. So I'm going to do 1.08 to the 5th. So this will be after 5 years our growth factor is 1.469. So then I'm going to try 1.08 to the 10th. 
and this gets me 2.1589. So that's a little bit more than double. So then I want to try um, 1.08 to the ninth to see if that gets closer. And this gives me 1.999. So that is closer to double. So it'll take approximately nine years um, to double. Number seven, the graph below shows the milligrams of a chemical in the body D days after it was first measured. Explain what the point one, 2.5 means. So remember that this X value is the days after it was administered and the Y value is the milligrams left in the body. And so if we um, say what this means, this would mean that after one day or one day after taking the medication, so one day after taking the meds, there is um, 2.5 milligrams left in the body. Then it says mark a point that represents the amount of medicine left in the body after eight hours. So remember that this is one day. Um, so one day is equal to 24 hours. And so we want to figure out where eight is. So let's figure out how many spaces, what their scale is. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces here. So let's do 24 divided by six. And we find out that each dash is four hours. So this one right here is four. This one right here is eight, which is what we're looking for. So we're going to go up to eight and the point would be right here. So if you wanted to label it, you could, since it appears to be exactly at 10. Number eight, the exponential function f takes the value 10 when x equals 1 and 30 when x equals 2. What's the y-intercept? So I'm just going to put these in a table here. Um, so at 1, we get back 10, and at 2, we get back 30. And what we're looking for is this previous number um, for the output. That would be our y-intercept. And so if we take a look here, um, we see that to get from 10 to 30, you multiply by a scale factor of 3 for one year. So if I want to go backwards one year, then I would go backwards a factor of 3, which means divide by 3. So this output here would be 10 divided by 3. So the y-intercept f of 0 would be equal to 10 thirds. Part B says, what is an equation defining f? So now we know our initial value. So if I do f of x, we have our initial value, which is 10 thirds. And then we're going to multiply by the growth factor, which is 3 and then to the x power.